Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Grooms coming to you from Cincinnati, Ohio once again. And we are going to have another segment of a base of the week. Today is a very interesting base. It is a fretless uh, that I built, believe it or not. Um, not the whole thing. Let's talk about the neck first because I think that's the most important aspect of this base. Uh, this is my version of a Jaco Pastorius 1962 fretless jazz bass. Most every bass player that has listened to Jocko probably at one time or another wanted uh, a, a bass like Jocko's. So I, I kind of built one. This neck was originally from a 1986 or 87 Japanese precision bass, Fender precision bass that was made in Japan. I gave the bass neck to Kevin Kaufman, who is a luthier in West Palm Beach, who is also Jocko Pastorius' uh, luthier. And uh, Kevin was a, a friend of mine, an acquaintance, and I asked him if he could make that neck a fretless neck. And he said, sure. And I said, but you know what? The precision bass is a little bit wide. I don't really care for that, so maybe should I get a jazz neck? He said, no. I can lathe it down into 62 jazz bass dimensions. So that's exactly what Kevin did. He put the neck on a lathe and lathed it down to the dimensions of a, of a 1962 jazz bass. These are the exact dimensions of Jocko's neck, bass neck. Um, once I got it back, I clear coated the headstock. I took the black finish off of the headstock. The black finish was already removed here from when Kevin did the lathe. And I removed the black finish from the headstock and put a clear coat on it with nitrocellulose lacquer. Put my own logo here, the Fender logo. Put a set of 1962 uh, reproduction Fender tuners. They're reverse. They tune reverse than normal uh, tuners. Um, I bought a body. I'm not sure exactly where I got this body. It may be a Stuart McDonald body. It may be a Fender replacement body. I'm not sure, but it is made of alder. It's a sunburst finish. Uh, I put that on there. Uh, the pickups are Seymour Duncan Antiquity 2 pickups. These pickups sound amazing. I can't say enough about these pickups. They are lower output than normal than I'm used to, but this, the tone is just amazing. I put a Fender uh, Vintage Bridge, slotted saddles, and standard uh, volume, volume tone. And I put a thumb rest down here just for the heck of it because I like the look of it, and of course a uh, tortoise pick guard. Now, as far as the fretless part goes, let's talk about that for a minute. Kevin took the frets out of the base and he put some sort of a trough, some sort of a walls on either side of the neck and he poured boat epoxy, uh, the same type that Jocko used I believe, into the neck and then sanded it all down. And what that does is it gives it a much harder surface and prevents the round wound strings from eating into the wood. It's a much harder surface. Now I've had this base uh, as a fretless since 1992. So that is 22 years, and I've played it a bit, and there's really not much wear on that fretboard from the round-wound strings. So let's give this guy a listen. We'll set it up with the classic Jocko tone with the neck pickup rolled off a bit and the tone down. <laughs> It has a very, really, um, I, a lot of, as bass players like to say, moi. It's a great fretless uh, sound uh, that I get out of this bass. I'm not a great fretless player. Uh, I think I have fairly decent intonation, but I'm definitely not like Jocko. Then again, who is? Why don't we hear how this thing sounds with the volume controls and the tone control all the way up, like you would normally run a jazz bass. Uh, and maybe the key here is not making it sound like a fretless.
All right, and let's try the neck pickup and see what that sounds like. This thing's soloed sounds really cool, I think. <laughs> So there you have it. This is my uh, homemade Frankenstein uh, Jocko Pastorius bass. I even put a little bit of my own artwork uh, back here on the headstock. I put a little onk and wrote Jocko's name and put his the year of his birth, 1951, 1987. And I just did it with a Sharpie. It's not the greatest artwork in the world, but you know, kind of makes this bass my own. And uh, I enjoyed doing it. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about my fretless Jocko bass, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.